I don't date guys, and nobody ever calls me Jen. What's your name? Detective. Feds have to process this scene. Look, this is no time for a pissing contest. I got a rape victim in trouble. And I didn't witness the altercation. There was no altercation. He made it up. You seem awfully agitated. Your time of the month. You know, I've heard how strong that blue line is, but I can't imagine anybody perjuring themselves for an ass like you. So, listen, uh, I got a wild idea. How about you and me? Why don't you save your energy to hunt terrorists? You here to give me a hint? Well, Craig can call me. After what you did last night, I've been assigned to be your handler. Why? I haven't done anything. This is a peaceful demonstration. Yeah? Did you leave your dynamite at home? My boyfriend and I broke up. He got he got the co-op and uh, Danielle just took me in. So to thank her, you took her out for a cup of coffee and a beating? No. Let's go find a nice quiet room where you can tell me what mean thing I did to provoke you into hitting I you. never hit you. And I'm not going to some good old boy back room alone with you. I want a lawyer. She smashed two electron microscopes and a centrifuge. She was facing serious time. Right, so you blackmailed her. Doing what? Lines of coke off my glass coffee table. So he just fell down the stairs on his own. So you can find any family member as long as they have a record. 46% of incarcerated criminals have a relative who's been locked up. I guess some things really do run in the family. But there are a lot of vindictive ones who abuse the system under the guise of a divorce strategy. I think your alleged victim is one of them. Do you have any evidence to support that? Or are you just making it up as you go along? You know why undercover agents get psychologically evaluated every six months? Because their case agents make them nuts? I was keeping tabs on her. Keeping tabs on her? She's a human being. You're aware of that, huh? Not a pet? She was cheating on me. That doesn't give you the right to tag her. Am I under arrest? Should you be? Domestic terror charge is going to put you on the 40 years to life, Mitchell. Be in your best interest to tell us where Haley is. I don't have a clue. He's not very bright. My name is Delray Mallott. I'm your assigned public defender. What are you, 12? I've never hurt my wife. You mean you wouldn't throw her down the stairs and break her arm? You're smarter than that. So I can assure you they had signed releases. Do you mean this pile of crap? Where your pesticide is referred to as a drug? My company's done nothing wrong. No, you don't think there's anything wrong with poisoning little children? How do you people sleep at night? I do believe we're running out of new crimes to charge you with, Persephone. Breaking and entering? You're not going to thank me for finding the crime scene? What the hell is your problem? You got a confession, didn't we? And what part of that do you think is going to stand up in court? A five-year-old could have done a better job. Then go hire one. I have had it with your crap. We are not finished yet. You keep your hands off me. Detective Benson, what brings you over the river today? Your big mouth. Are you hungry? You can go for a bite. Who's buying? Well, you are going through a divorce, and you do have four children, so I guess you are. I wasn't. She chose Riley, not you. That's why you killed her, hoping that you'd get her by default? I don't know where you're getting this. Not too swift. Maybe too many blows to the head with a barbed wire bat. Whatever. Well, if I were you, I would look at your victim, Carl Dunford. Because that is a sex crime. Well, is that what it is? You ever heard of Lorena Bobbitt? I'm sure Mr. Hanley doesn't know anything about that, and he's not available anyway. I'm sure he is available. He just doesn't have the guts to deal with me himself. Watch your language, ma'am. How many excessive force complaints are you having in your jacket? You seem to know an awful lot about police business. I guess this isn't your first time at the hoedown, is it? Actually, it is. We'll know when the prints come back. Yeah, we will. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, the poster boy for rage is going to tell me how to control my anger? Is this really necessary? You tell me. Is that what the girls asked you when you tied them up? Hey, what happened to your partner? He said you were too afraid to talk to him. Well, the kitty couldn't even stand up to you. Ah, but you can't. Oh, yeah. Look how long it took you to come back. <laughs> you think I'm afraid of you? Yeah. What's the matter, Regan? You drink the warm? I didn't touch anything. I wore gloves. Well, aren't you just the junior detective? Well, uh, how much training does it take to figure out that that's the murder weapon? I never heard a hair in that boy's head. Were you just threatened him and his family? I was just playing. You did 18 months for playing. Jury calls it aggravated assault. I was framed. Oh, must run in the family. How do you think that makes him feel, detective? Not half as bad as the victim when he stabbed her to death or her son who he buried alive. Too bad they're not here to tell you about it. Well, unless you have a subpoena, I'm afraid I can't help you. Now, I suggest you leave the building. Let's go. You touch me again, and I will call you for assaulting a cop. I don't have issues with the ladies. Well, there's got to be some reason you got soft, Michael. Shut your mouth. Before you shut it for me, just like you did to those two girls by beating the hell out of them, what happened there? Uh, we're just about to take a five-minute break. No, you're going to take it now. It's going to be a lot longer. We open next week. Mr. Masoner, I'm sure you can make room on your dance card for me. 
think the Reverend would like you snooping through our finances. That's a subpoena, not a party invitation. So get us the records or go to jail for contempt. And you're something more as a teenage boy? He knows his way around the bedroom. And apparently around your liquor cabinet. What, you have to get him drunk to get him to sleep with you? You like your guys in chains? Yeah. You like your women at knife point? Those big boys in prison are gonna love your pussy pervert ass up there, huh? I'd give you a kidney. Not if I gave you mine first. I swear I didn't touch I swear her. on what? The Bible? God? Your daughter? You have the right to keep your mouth shut.